Hey guys, Tad from Attack of the Killer Podcast here with a new Patreon exclusive bonus video for you, the attackers. As always, thank you for being an attacker. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Thanks for watching these videos. Um, we've been trying to give you some awesome new content. We've been doing the horror hangouts. We just had one last night as of this recording. Um, it was a lot of fun. I, I hope we can get some more people involved in those because I love, you know, sort of seeing you guys not as close as I can um, to in person. Right now, I haven't really seen, I've seen Jason like once since the pandemic started. Maybe, I don't know if I've, I don't think I've seen anyone else uh, on the podcast in real life face to face. So um, the horror hangouts are a lot of fun. We get to, you know, do a quick, um, what is Skype chat and, you know, show off some new stuff. So uh, some of this might cross over a little bit, but I'm going to go in a little more depth in the videos than I do on the chats. Um, but yeah, I have a, you know, I, I've gotten quite a bit of stuff since the last time I recorded a video. I've sort of let it pile up and now I need to um, get some videos out so I can start putting stuff up on the shelves and opening stuff. Uh, as of recording this, it's almost Christmas. We're less than a week away and um, that means Black Friday was about a month ago. That means I bought a lot of stuff I didn't need. Um, I'm not going to show you all of it because some of it is not really of interest to you guys, I'm sure. Um, I did buy a 4K player finally. So yes, I can play the 4K videos that have been piling up also. Um, but I didn't buy any 4K movies actually on Black Friday. Uh, I almost bought some stuff from Vinegar Syndrome, but decided uh, against it because the stuff I wanted wasn't actually on sale. So I'll wait a little bit on that stuff. Maybe next year it will be on sale. No hurry on some of it. But anyways, um, this, this first video I'm going to do today is uh, my Black Friday haul. Um, I posted a, a, one thing, I think, in the Facebook group. If you're not in the Attack of the Killer podcast Facebook group, um, it's a lot of fun. Just look up AOTKP uh, or Attack of the Killer podcast group edition, and I always am posting news stuff and scores and different links and um, fun discussion over there. It's a great group, um, and I think most of you are over there anyways, but if you're not, get on over there. So let's go ahead. I have some stuff I got on Black Friday. Then I got a few things, um, odds and ends, that I don't think facilitate their own videos that I'm going to show off too. Because my birthday was like two weeks, not no, like a week before Black Friday. So I got a few things. And I know I showed you guys some of the stuff. I already, I already showed you some of the stuff I got for my birthday, I believe. I'd have to go back and see when the last time I recorded a video. But I'm pretty sure I showed you some of the stuff. But um, since then, I've gotten way too much. So... I will start with actual Black Friday stuff I got. Um, let's start with, I, I actually shopped at a store I haven't shopped at in years, and it turns out they have some really cool stuff. Um, hot Topic, yeah. I didn't go to the store in person because the closest one's like two hours, hour and a half away, and it's tiny now. But their website kicks ass, and they're always doing like 30% off almost every freaking day, it seems like. And then some, like Black Friday, they did like 50 to 60% off some stuff. So... Um, not all of it's horror, but I want to show it off anyways because you guys might be interested. I'll start with the non-horror stuff, I guess. And i got to make sure it's all in here because I feel like I am missing something. Oh, yeah. Hold on one second. There we go. Okay. So, um, the first few things I got were I'm back into the reaction figure collecting. And um, the Super 7 stuff is really expensive, but it's really cool. I like it better than what Funko was doing with the license, but... It's also about twice the cost. Like the, when Funko was doing the Super 7s, they were like 7 to $10 range, and now they're like $20. So I was happy to score these for like 10 ish on Hot Topics website. And I got the Andre the Giant Super 7 uh, reaction figure. I absolutely love the packaging. It's his hand, obviously, holding the packaging, and it has the die cut of the hand. Um, you know, for a reaction figure, he's really big. That's sort of the thing. And this is the old school OG Andre when he wore the vest and little shorts. Um, and packaging's, you know, orange and red themed. And it has, you know, collect both of them. Andre the Giant has the singlet version. Eighth Wonder of the World has the singlet version. And the um, one you probably remember from WWF. And I'm saying WWF, not WWE. Because when Andre was there, it was WWF. And so, of course, I couldn't get one without getting the other, so I got the singlet version, which is the more classic one, 
and both come with an accessory, which is a small can of beer, because um, if you've heard Andre the Giant stories about his epic beer drinking, no one could drink beer like him. He always had a beer in his hand if he wasn't in the uh, ring, and he would crush hundreds of beers in one sitting with no problem. Um, and then he would become a problem for everyone else because uh, he would pass out and no one could bring him back to his room. Keeping with that theme, I went to my local comic shop, B-Town Comics. Shout out to them. They are awesome. They had a big sale for Black Friday. I think it was at least 30% off everything, if not more. Um, I've had my eyes on these, and I couldn't believe they actually had them there. These are the Super 7 um, reaction figures from, obviously, from They Live. Um... Now these are, I believe they were like convention exclusives or, or summer exclusives, so I'm surprised they had them. But, uh, yeah, the, they have the, obviously, um, hidden message, the, uh, you know, propaganda type packaging. Submit, obey, and then the back, collect them all, collect them all. Very minimal with the type on it. They also do make a regular, regular versions that are not exclusives, um, that are in color with... Jason Edmondson's awesome artwork on the back, full color, and the actual figures are color too. They come with the little um, ball that you see in there. She comes with a purse, and her legs are painted real cool. And there's a the female one, then the male one comes with uh, a newspaper. The um, I guess you would say it's a like I don't even remember what those are called, but they're flying. Um, and then he comes with a briefcase. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, I got these for 30% off, so those were a good deal, so I'm drowning in reaction figures now. Um, let's keep it going with that. I think I showed off the other two Jobot figures the last time I was on here, maybe, um, but I got the Halloween Hoot Nanny, um, last drive-in, Bob Briggs. It's not an official reaction figure, but it's in the same vein, the retro style. He comes with a pumpkin um, bottle of beer and his... Uh, skull bolo tie and his Halloween hootenanny jacket, orange shirt, everything, just like he was on that episode. And on the, the back of the packaging is so awesome. It has he has lawn chair sitting action, beer food grip, uh, five points of articulation. Has a little bit about him. It has a cool Megastar VHS movie giveaway in the corner. The back of the packaging is a highlight. I mean, these retro figures, the the packaging is what it's all about, anyways. So I was stoked to get that because I have the other two, the red and blue shirt. Let's see, I got keep me uh, B Town Comics. I also got something I didn't really plan on, but um, the price was right. So I got this big, huge, badass armored assassin deluxe action figure from the Predator, which is the newer one that not a lot of people loved. The new Predator movie, re most recent with uh, Fred Decker, I believe, and. Um, yeah, armored. I, I liked the movie. I didn't love it, but th the highlight of it for me was this armored assassin, which is like the super predator. And he comes in a nice window box, and he's huge. It's probably hard to see with reflections and stuff, but I think I don't think people realize the scale of this. So this is a seven-inch scale figure. This is not um, like a deluxe twelve-inch or eighteen-inch. He is in scale with the other predators from the movie. So. Let me put the comparison. This is an actual NECA 7-inch Predator um, in scale to what the original Predator from the movie. And obviously, in the movie, they made a Super Predator. And when it was laying on the table, finally broke free. I had to get him on sheer, sheer size alone. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going to put this huge-ass Predator. So I'm not going to even open him right now, because I don't know where to put him. But, you know, I had to compare him to the original Predator to show you how big of a size difference. Um... Also from Hot Topic, this was, I think, 30 to 40% off. Just a simple, cool Vincent Price t-shirt. Not from any movie. It's just Vincent Price's face with his signature underneath. It's officially licensed by his estate, obviously. Um, I am a sucker for Vincent Price. I'm a sucker for just cool, plain shirts. Uh, cool graphic on it. Very bright. It was like 10 bucks, so I couldn't resist. Uh, last thing I got from Hot Topic, and I haven't even taken out of the plastic is another item from Super 7 and it is drive through drinkware collectible pint glass and this one is the mummy they made the universal monsters in like a comic style 
and these were I think like 15 bucks originally and it was I think it was five bucks on the site um, and because I ordered so much I got free shipping so everything was a really good steal I love these pint glasses I'm a, I probably should show you guys sometime my glass collection because I have a bunch of really cool glasses I've shown you the universal ones but I have gremlins I have uh, old video games all kinds of stuff um, and then uh, Black Friday was also a record store day which if you don't know what that is it's like a an exclusive day for small mom-and-pop record shops to sell vinyls that only or vinyl cassette CDs anything that um, mostly vinyl that you can buy only at these shops so they only make a limited run they're really hard to find it you sort of go hunting for them it's a lot of fun I don't recommend getting into it because it is a crazy hobby just as like action figures or anything else but uh, my local shop weird Harold's is is known around the area as the best and uh, their um, manager owner uh, Andrea is the best and she hooks me up and I asked her ahead of time if she could get this for me and she scored one and let me snag it a little bit early um, to avoid the crowd so this is probably my favorite haul the silent night deadly night um, soundtrack slash score on um, red orange swirl chimney hellfire vinyl has the 10 original songs plus two previously unreleased tracks um, ghoulish Gary Poland did all the artwork it has uh, actual strips of 35 millimeter film from a vintage 84 reel inside um, newly remastered liner notes by Morgan Ames um, really cool love the artwork with Iris toys and the axe and then the back is like a vintage um, Christmas catalog and it has you know Halloween masks um, on clearance you know uh, twin bunny it has some of the toys that you actually see on the shelf in there uh, Christmas lights Irish toys I haven't opened this one yet and I, I think I will though I love the songs on this the original songs on this are so weird and eerie and creepy I love it so I'll probably crack it open and listen to it before Christmas um, so yeah, go if you're in the area, if you're even close, like Galesburg, like I know you are, Brian Godsill. I know Brett's, Brett's a, I've seen Brett the attacker at uh, Weird Herald's. I think it's a little bit of a drive for you, Roman, but, um, and this one actually I showed off at our horror hangout. I brought it because I wanted to show Roman, but he couldn't join us, so um, I wanted to make sure he got a chance to check this out. This is not... This is something I got for my birthday. It's a long story short. It took a while to get here because I had some issues with a book that was damaged, but um, I got the Stanley Kubrick Archives, the um, really badass book. I mean, this thing, you can see, is thick. has Kubrick on the back. Um, I mean, it, it talks about everything um, from the archives of Stanley Kubrick. So the inside has the film reels, which is really cool. In red and uh, black and white it has a little forward in it but uh, this book is like I'll see if I can find something cool yeah I, I mean I opened it right to like the perfect spot right in the middle but um, you know Space Odyssey uh, it's like a full color it has his notes has his um, has interviews with him has uh, everything from all of his films so if you are a Kubrick fan like I am this book is, I think, less is like less than twenty bucks, and it's a steal. It's full color. I mean, there's Clockwork Orange, um, Full Metal Jacket. I mean, it has everything in there, and again, the film reels on the back. It's a gorgeous book, less than twenty bucks, uh, and it makes a great gift for that film lover in your life. So, that's my little um, Black Friday haul. I guess not little. I bought a bunch of shit. I bought some stuff for other people too. Um, but that's just what I got for myself. So, again, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to comment on the video. I try to get in on Patreon and comment back when I can. Otherwise, you guys are mostly friends with me on Facebook, so shoot me a message if you have any questions or comments or anything. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks again for listening to the podcast, and we'll see you next time on Attack of the Killer Podcast.